what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to pacific drive i hope you enjoyed the first episode because now it's time to really kick things off so go ahead grab yourself that monster and let's do this oh here we go all right we are here And what is this? Where are we supposed to go? I think I messed up, guys. The only place we can go is here. So we're gonna go down the road and hang a right. I mean, a left. I wanna explore. Like, I don't wanna not explore. Like, I wanna stop here. You know? Is it worth getting out? And coming to these places. Public health notice. So maybe not every place? There's food. There's fabric. Might as well just take all of that. I've got... So much food. I keep putting it like in my hands though. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse. Interesting. Until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. Better to know what you're up against. Yeah, I Could guess the so. remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, oh. but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the all madness didn't are. kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long Can't gone. Take that. Until you found the car. We can take the rubber. Interesting. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take my time, guys, with this. Like, I usually try to blow through stuff, but I really wanna learn. So I hope you guys are along for the long haul. Another one? I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only Not we yet. knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. I don't really know where I'm going, if I'm going the right way. I guess we're going to find out real quick. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm assuming we probably can't drive through that. The sizzling mist. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm like we'd expect to find in the skies above. And we do... And we do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else. Something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. I think with a little time, I'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in a lab setting. Budget permitting, God, isn't this exciting? God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this for sure. But it doesn't tell me if it's hostile or not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we being scanned? What is that? I think, I think something bad's about to happen. 
Oh shit, we gotta get out of here. Maybe we should turn around and go back? No, there's the radio station. What I saw on the map. Radio station something. So it should be something good there, right? So this is one of those things for plasma. Not that. I need a hammer. <gasps> I don't know what those guys are for. Okay, guys, where, where are we at? If we hang a right right up here, it takes us all the way back out to whatever this is. And those are the arc places, right? And we don't necessarily need that. I guess. Gotta crank it up first. But where's the road at? There is no road. We're like looking at it. We're just gonna ease on down, right? Oh shit. Oh no. What happens if we get our car stuck? It's like I'm about to lose a tire. There's a bridge. We came down the long way, <laughs> the hard way. So we should have drove all the way back around and gone through a bridge. But we still got to make our exit. So we're going to do it. I guess I should have learned how to read a map. But that's also one way to do it, right? Just make your own road. We got something else right here. <gasps> what is that? Ha! Ah! What are those? Oh no! <gasps> oh God, we're being corrupted. I don't know what we're doing. How do we get them off? Oh, guys. I think I broke it. Well, that's kind of interesting. 
A broken bunny? W what do we do with it? What is it doing? It's, it's about to blow up, isn't it? Okay, hold up. A broken bunny. Damage type unknown. Does it tell us what it gives us? Is that electrics? An arrow shifter. <laughs> Please tell me I just picked up something sweet full speed ahead. <gasps> I just got something cool. What about you? You gave me nothing, you suck. Alright, let's hang out just a little bit more. We probably did something really stupid, guys. Again, I, don't, I have no clue what I'm doing. That thing says get to Saram or whatever, and I don't even know where to go. Stop rolling away. But it didn't really give me anything, so maybe it's not worth going for those. There's nothing here. Oh no, I just broke it like an idiot and I should have... Son of a bitch. I'm sitting there hitting it like a dummy. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I have no clue what I'm doing. I've literally watched zero gameplay of this. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, pry bar. Nope. Nothing. That was a waste of time. I also forgot how to turn the headlights on and off. Oh shit, there's more of these things. Oh no! Shit. 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 Shut her down. Oh my god, the car is going crazy. I wasn't fast enough. Get back in. <gasps> oh my god, man. Okay. Got anomalies like crazy. I just really want to get to where we're supposed to go. But I feel like we did the wrong thing. <gasps> we're going the right way. We did it. I guess we're supposed to go all the way around and through that tunnel. <laughs> Whoops. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Sierra. Edor Town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. Oh, you look at that. Can't miss it. This is crazy. Okay, hold up. Oh shit, no! Go, 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 go! <laughs> okay, I think we're actually okay. We are going, where are we at? Here? We just gotta go right there. That's not bad. I kinda wish that thing was more like where that is. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest Honkin anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. I say, Opie's you're crazy. Happy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Driver, are you sure about this? Nope. Well, that'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the oh, driver's going this. to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but 
Dude, got that's a point. crazy looking. Any remnant energy. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not This is awesome to do though. Anything. This is so pretty. They can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would yeah, get them I don't out want of to my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. So we're going to drive all the way down the road. And go right up to that thing. So be it. Turn our lights on. I feel like there's a way to turn your lights on and off, and I forgot how to do it. So we're going to be immersive, and we're going to look down, and we're going to turn our lights on with a switch. <gasps> Shit! Oh, God. We got to stop. We're going to stop. okay it's okay we got this let's just slow down what the hell was that let's see what, what do we have we have repair buddy our hood took a massive hit Okay. This panel took a massive hit. Our bumper took... The headlight I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with. We are fairly compromised. But... Okay. I think we're okay. We gotta be smart about this. What's that tire? That tire's okay. Wasn't there one that was bad? No? Okay. Oh, it's that rear panel. Alright, we're, we're okay. We just gotta take it easy. Can't take another hit like that. Holy shit! Okay, are we okay? There's a ramp. I probably should have hit that. But I kind of want to stop right here too. Might be able to find some repair stuff. Oh my god, dude, look how pretty that is. Alright, Big Dan's, is this place open? That was a friendly dumpster. What is this? <gasps> we got a workbench? I always feel safe when I shut the doors. We don't have much going on. We got over here. Can't open that. We still haven't found electrical parts. A lot of glass, used canned food. Well, I thought there was gonna be a lot more here. I don't know if I'm ever going to get over the fact that you can turn your car on and shift it. Okay. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We just got to get to 55 miles an hour. Here we go. We get it. Huh? <laughs> I just probably jacked our bumper all the way up. Oh my god, we gotta hang a hard left. 
Where are we going? Oh shit. Oh shit. We're off the road. Are we st we're still on the road, technically. Oh, I see it. I think I see it. Yeah. We're on like a dirt road. Probably should have fixed our headlights. Oh, God. Oh, we're in this yellow shit. Huh. No response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Uh... I'm actually dying. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is gonna be one intense playthrough, guys. Like, again, I have... I have no clue. The very fact that we have to, like do all this is is actually fantastic but we're gonna have to get up here to a house and and possibly fix our car back up make some repair putty or something it didn't help that i went over the ledge back there a long time ago oh, here we go let's go we can get across right shit 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 There's a house right there. What if we... The house has one of those things in it. We're gonna need that to power this thing up. We're okay. Everything's jacked. Oh, well, we can carry 11 of those. Because I know we're going to get out of here soon. We should probably make some repair putty if I can. Oh, we got plenty. There we go. I didn't see a bridge though, did you? I didn't see a bridge though, guys. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know where it is. I sure as hell don't. Except right there. Now, how do I get up there? Ah. Actually, I say ah like I know what I'm doing. I really don't. Maybe we'll just go over here. Yep. I don't think we can actually hit those people. I think they blow up. Still not close enough to Cappy. 
What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? What? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? Uh... I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? So what do I need to do? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, <laughs> if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid for it. Yeah. Uh, open the barricade from the control tower to access the bridge. Do we not have a flashlight? I'm so used to playing other things. But I don't know what all I have. We have the road flares. There we go. A transmuter? We can transmute things? Can we transmute? Oh, glass shards equal electronics. Where my glass? Wait a minute. What is... Glass shards equal electronics. I guess I don't get it. Transmitter. Let's open that up. Interesting. That doesn't really help me out. Guess we'll figure that out later. Now we're nice and open. Let's go. Oh no. transmission systems thought I lost you for a moment well it all worked out didn't it uh, the gateway got you out and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive and my plan worked Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all unfortunately what they've been saying is true the remnants drive their victims mad Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I don't understand. I'm still game to get you out of here. I'm confused. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Okay. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. So now we just explore. <laughs> We take another drive. So, let's go back here. Because we kind of just blew through it. I want to go back and explore it. probably remember how to actually turn my headlights back on that may actually help me out a little better guys gals thank you so much for being with me let's go through it that freaks me out every time 
So let's, let's put you there. We have one of those pieces. But we have a whole bunch of things here. So to really explore this place, And I think our little thing is out. So in order to get out of here, right, we're going to have to at least go and get some stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. right here let's go ahead and grab it is there a better way to deal with those things holy moly holy moly are you kidding me right now what Bobby, you saw it too didn't you tell me you saw it too what you saw what what do you mean what in the hallucinations ah. the ones from 1961 it happened again just a quick blip like blinking you wait you didn't see it i was in a total blackout colossal cappy fried my systems Right, because sending the driver head first into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Smith me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? <gasps> you got electronics. Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And then not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us, specifically... Somewhere in the deep zone. That's impossible. And more. It's been 40 years. So there's hallucinations. It's been a while. So this stuff gives us electronics. Okay, we got to get somewhere safe. What is that? Get away too close? Oh god. And that's not all. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of oh, man. and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane. After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants were the key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. We gotta get back up there. I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do. I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And then and, and, and be careful. Oppie's not in the right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Yeah. And whatever that is, we're too close to it, right? Okay, so we're gonna have to... I don't really know what that thing does or what it means. We're too close. That's all I know. But if we get up here, we should be safe from it. At least on the back side. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I can say again how much uh, your love and support I uh, appreciate. I have no idea what that is. It keeps like, it's almost like it sends a drone to me or something. Ooh, what is this? Found a little shelter. Somebody asked a real stupid question. Anomalies bothering you? Give it the boot. So we can kick them? 
<laughs> okay. So there's not like actual creatures in this game. Ooh, big dance. Another big dance. I didn't even see that. Oh, it's those things. Let's see what that is. We have the little vacuum cleaner. I feel like that's just going to give us electrical parts. But... Knowing me, I'm wrong. Look at this thing. We're going to suck you dry. Oh, we got a bulb. Uh-oh. Okay, I think that thing was radioactive, and we probably almost died. We need to back our car up. Park right here by Big Dan's. So I don't understand exactly what I'm doing. That's gonna be a gateway. There's another link gateway here. But we gotta charge this thing up first. So I guess that means behind here is how we're gonna get out. I really gotta learn to put this thing in park when I stop. get gas. How much gas do we have? I left that wide open. Oh, we're okay. What is this? Give me something good. It's cosmetics. Oh! <gasps> We got a sweet steering wheel and a workbench and none of this stuff that we need right now because we got to carry everything. Oh, our inventory is really full. Put everything back in the car. Can't pick that up. Can't pick that up. Okay, we got to drive. We got to take everything to the car real quick. I'm just collecting everything because I'm still trying to figure out how to play this. That's pretty cool, though. And a bulb. That'll work. It's over here. Sierra, I'm lost, get out, okay. We don't need that. Oh, our flare is going out. Nothing. Pick up the rubber. Alright, guys, well. So I take it we just we don't have to sleep out here. We just kind of have to hold out, right? Okay, well, let's drop everything off. I'm gonna forget to do this so many times. Okay, now though we need to build this, and I'm guessing we have it now. Yes, we need to put it in the car for now. So we're, our car is loaded. What is this? Store in fax machine theories number five. The anomalies are mocking us. Okay. Let's just get in. Let's check our stuff. There was something back here, but we need to get all the way around to get to that. Because there's the... Um, 
whatever that thing is. I can't remember what it's called. But we need to power up this machine. Those things are freaky. Oh, there's our battery. <gasps> oh no. We got we got to figure that out. How do we how do we do that? Manuals, blueprints, missions. Here we go. Watch your battery meter carefully using headlights and special abilities from attachments will drain your reserves. However, even with an empty battery, your ARC device will be able to jumpstart the car. There are also ways to recharge on the go. Check your crafting options. We, we got to turn headlights off. Sorry, guys. That's killing us. That is freaky. Now, the battery jumper. Okay, so the battery jumper, it's not like jumper cables. So that'd be kind of neat though if you had to like pull up to an, like an old power source and like hook it up. So we're okay, we at least have a single use. I don't know if I can get in here. Don't know if I can actually... Oh! Yes! Alright, I'll let y'all see. I'm still, you know, trying to figure out the whole point. We're just trying to get out of this place, right? It's got a very interesting concept. Like, I'm, I'm digging it. Though these flares suck. Got everything out of here. This flare is about to die. I'm ready to start souping the car up. All right, I think we're good. Let's go. I think in a second we're about to start seeing some stuff. We're going to get really close to whatever this red thing is. But we really, really need... Oh, that must be it. We got to get this device. I think we're good. Shit. How are we? Can we use it? I think we can use it. All right, park it. All right, we're gonna have to get that way. I'll turn my headlights back on. Hopefully y'all can see. What the hell is that? That's so cool looking. I wanna play with it. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I looked away. My wife gets mad at me when I do stuff like that. Go all the way around. Alright, so what do we got? Oh shit, okay. Let's go! Oh no! 
be able to get out of here. Oh. Junctions corrupted, stable. I... I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. Yeah, you did. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. All right, guys, I do apologize for that. The game did crash right in the middle of her talking. And then when I jumped back in, I forgot that I was recording. So I'm going to try to catch up on what I've done. I've literally upgraded myself to a couple summer tires. We managed to unlock some steel panels. So we installed all of those. We didn't do too much because after I realized you could unlock things from this thing, I'll show you real quick. All of these things like this, you can unlock, but you're usually missing things, gears, electronics, scrap metal. So we're going to have to make, we're going to have to go and make a supply run, but we're also, our energy is almost out. I don't really know what that means. I need to look up what stable energy is. I think I saw that in a menu item. But we're going to have to go and grab some some stuff. Now, our car is mostly good. we got to fix our panel here. I don't know if I have any... I don't have any repair kits. I put it all in here. So let's go... Let's go fix up our panels real quick. I'm sorry, guys. You, honestly, though, you probably didn't miss anything. I would have bored the crap out of you. So, let's go here. We got plenty of that. I think we have plenty of supplies in the back of the car. We have more repair putty. We have a headlight that needs a bulb, so we might try to figure that out here. We have a spare tire. I think we're good. I think we're good to go make a supply run. If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Serum. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. Yeah, thank God. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Serum. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. I just want to, uh... The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. We're gonna go back here. I guess we'll keep pushing forward as we need to, but I really want to explore this building thing. And in order to, you know, customize our car, I want to be able to do stuff. Let's go. Before we keep going, we're here. We got an anchor device and an anchor device here. We need to hit up these places. And then I guess we're going to pass through. But we can go ahead and charge up our arc device too, right? I think. Let's just keep going down the road. Oh, and about those anomalies. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone, limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula. What exactly to them happened now. here? Look how fast we're going. <laughs> we put those. Oh. We put those summer tires on. I feel like we got some more speed. What is that? Oh God, I see things. There's something right here, though. We're going to go ahead and get out. It's so pretty.
I have no idea what's going on. What's happening? Oh, we're in radiation. Oh, what is that? <gasps> okay, we gotta get back in the car. Sorta. Of. This is where we're supposed to go anyway. Oh my god, the radiation is horrible. What is that? <gasps> it's moving. I mean, it's across the road we gotta go. The thing that we need's over here. I see it, we passed it. Oh my god, dude, it's moving. Oh shit. Oh, get in the car, hurry up. Fight it. Fight it. Oh no. I don't understand what those things do. It like threw me into an anomaly. We got something wrong with our tire, I see it. It's probably getting flat. Oh God. We probably shouldn't stay here. We might've picked a bad place to come. What is that? I want to go touch it. Maybe put it in my mouth. There was a dirt road back there. There it is, I see it. Okay, we gotta go up the dirt road. Alright, let's go. Oh shit. We have what we need to get back, I think. I need to eat something. I think it's okay. Now. We just gotta go right and stay right. If we do that, I think we'll be okay. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall, and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. 
It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Then technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. So is all but new technology. Stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morda have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll do all your dirty work. All right, yeah, we're gonna explore this, and then we're gonna get back where we're supposed to go. Warning, launch and construction facility ahead. Well, this just sounds lovely. Oh my God, is that that thing? No. Can we not go in there? Oh no, we can't. Oh shit, no you can't. That's a lot of radiation. Okay. So we can't go in there, but there's still something down the road. I don't know if that's normal, if that's something we can deal with later. God. Yeah, I don't really want to drive our car into this just yet. I'm pretty sure these things explode. If you hit them, right? Okay, we see that. Whatever the hell that is, we got some of that. We're still missing quite a bit of our electronic parts. What was that? Blue paint? Oh, we can paint our car? <gasps> Let's find red paint. I like red. Red or like green. Is there like a take all option and I'm just not paying attention? Yep, there is a <laughs> there is a take all option. I don't remember what this stuff was. I am waiting on something to come out of the darkness. drop stuff off at the car. Limb lies. Great. There's electronics. Do we even have electronics with us? We do. We got a little bit. Okay.
I know, guys, I'm, like, spending this whole time looting everything. Electronics, inventory's full. Okay, we'll come back. I think we got a pretty good day, a good haul. something dangerous on that side I probably should try to get gas out of these cars I think we have enough but make the second right let's get through the towers are locked up tight but you could tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh, boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. What did you see? Oh, I'm stupid. What is this? Oh, I thought it was a gun cabinet. So is that what we're, we're looking for this? This is a transmuter. I still don't know what the hell a transmuter is. Please find attached the installation plan of these newer compact limb. Con I have no idea how to use that. Okay, what are we looking for? Find records. Oh, we not take it. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Okay. Can you tell me how that thing works? There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Okay. I mean, that's what a transmuter does right it takes one thing and turns it into something else so it looks like you're supposed to put in a gear and you get electronics but i'm probably missing something where are we going oh we got to get back out there we go hopefully we're going home we've got a car full of shit Maze. Oh boy. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Well, I appreciate that. So we're gonna we're about to go all over the place. Good thing we got gas. We're gonna go right. It's my turn to guess it doesn't really matter. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Well, thank because you, I appreciate that. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. 
It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. <gasps> the surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Oh my god, where the hell are we at? All right, let's just go through, let's go through here. That was a hot zone. Oh, come on, we can make it. Ah! No! Oh, no. Come on, open up. Oh man, I thought we were gonna hit it again. That's what we need, like the lightning rod, right? I'm guessing that big giant ball looking thing is what we need. our first true taste of the zone I think I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to be I didn't even look some food while I'm here. Link, Stabilizer, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Oh, yep. Holy sh... You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free-falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of Saturn sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Did she Must have passed me by. She's a psycho. What but weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. I'm gonna go ahead and put gas in one. Oh my god, look at that. Okay. Go ahead and kind of fix this up just a little bit while we're here. Alright, let's keep going. We got one down. We got Bravo taken care of. Now. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused going. it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. <sighs> Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? But outer space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. 
There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Oh, Sun shit. Storms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb assisted mass particle collision. Or. Stop <laughs> talking to me in Spanish. Gamma ray reservoir. Dumb it down. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal. <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis. Oh, well, there's some barrels over there. Why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it. Oh my god. What if we did find a portal to Atlantis? Barrels. I can't use any of it. Okay. Let's just go. Let's keep going. We'll find a car. I was stupid and didn't fill up before we left. And I've got two spare gas tanks. I feel like I have a flat tire. You hear it? Oh! <laughs> That's because it is. if we need to keep it or not we might not we do have another spare at the base I think we just gotta keep going I'm going the wrong way Really need some off-road tires, so we can just go straight there. Okay, so just bulbs and glass shards. Okay. I got Charlie. I hear all these things happening. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What she I did it all. Not, and it's never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you. So yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. She's on to something, guys. We already know to that. To hell with that! We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever! This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. I think we should go sure the other way. Earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Holy shit. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look. 
If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. Yeah, you always had me killed once. This really is my last chance. Last chance for what? I think the zone knows. It knows we're here to kill it. Oh shit, we're not gonna make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We gotta get the hell out of here. God. Oh my God. That was so loud. <gasps> oh, we are losing control. I think I blew a tire. Tire guys, this ain't good. It's okay, we're gonna make it. This old girl's gonna hang in. Oh shit, jumping in those. Oh, I think we just blew another one. We are driving on two flats. No! No! We're not in a good spot, guys. We gotta stop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't have a mechanics kit. We just gotta keep going. We're gonna die. <gasps> We're about to die. No! No! Holy shit. 
shit. We're dead. We're done. We shouldn't have stopped. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. All right, guys. Well, we made it back. We are now at Stabilizer Charlie. I want to show you what I'm about to do. I have no idea if this place is actually going to be the exact same as it was before. I do apologize for dying. I had no idea that was going to happen. I don't know what this is right here. I don't know if that's maybe where I died. I did travel down there and look, and there's nothing there. But the last time we did this, the portal out of here was up here somewhere, right? I really hope so, because all I know is we don't have a lot of time before this thing gets us. So, we have a fully healed car. We have really no gas right now, which means we should probably fill that up before we go and turn this thing back on. We do have two full gas cans, so that's nice, wherever they're at. This may give us a full tank right here. Hell yeah. We've got most of our stuff back. The game is pretty gracious. We didn't have to really redo anything as much as I had to go back and just get some of the stuff that we lost. So I will uh, I'll give props to that. That it didn't make me do all of that again. We just kind of get back here and get these things turned back on. So here we go, guys. Round two. Is that the gateway? Watch this be over here and this is gonna be the worst thing ever. Oh my God, look how far we gotta go. I think we can make it. However, not if, uh, holy shit. Let's just go. We're just going to go. Oh my god. We're going to die again. I don't even know where the hell I'm at. I keep looking at this map like it's going to help me. No, guys, we got freaking two flat tires. You, you may just have to actually play this shit. I don't know if we're gonna make it. My tires are too effed up. And there's the portal, I can see it. Holy shit, we just got teleported. That may have helped us out. It's right there. We can make it. Please, God, help us make it. 
We're so close. <gasps> oh, shit. We're so close. We're going to make it. Oh, my God. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Holy shit. Get us out of here. Oh. Oh, oh blue. Oh, blue. Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. Oh, my thing, God. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. You got it. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, man. We got jacked up tires. We painted this thing blue. Blue got us through. Holy shit. That was insane. I had no idea that was about to happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end things here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and your support. Remember, guys, if you haven't already, uh, please consider subscribing to that channel. Smash that like button. And also consider leaving a small comment. It really helps me out. But nevertheless, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.